So um, I think after this I'll probably try and go and find another uh, spot to photograph from. Although as things stand now the sun is just going to get stronger and stronger and the cloud has pretty much been burned off. So it's just going to be sunny landscapes from now on for the rest of the day, but we'll see what we can get. I'll see you in a while. Because the weather is just so fine and the sunshine is just so bright there's no not really that much drama other than the snow covering the mountains here and the monasteries so the pictures that I can take from down here are are nice but they're nothing too dramatic or special so what I think I'm going to do is turn it into a little bit of a drone session and um, see if I can get some nice footage, video, and some nice images from the drone. Um, so I'll just switch out the battery and uh, take off and see what we can see. So I've set the drone up. I'm pretty much ready to go, just waiting for the temperature to uh, rise of the batteries but I can't actually launch from the road because there's a couple of stray dogs here that I'm worried about either scaring them or them jumping on the drone. So I've had to put the drone on the top of the car as a launch pad. Hopefully that'll be okay. And we'll see what happens when I come into land later. But for the moment I'm just waiting for the temperature of the batteries to, to go up a bit because it's too, too cold. To launch safely. And once I've done that, we'll see what pictures and video we can get. My favorite vantage points for sunset photos at uh, Matera but it's uh, clouded over and it's a pretty bleak landscape at the minute and um, pretty flat light so I'll hang on for a while and see if I can get anything see if the light changes by the time the sun goes down. I've still got a couple of hours probably until the sun does go down. And in the meantime, I noticed when I came up earlier that there was a bunch of cats here, stray cats. And with the uh, cold weather, I'm sure they're starving. So I've got them some food. I'm just gonna 
put it down somewhere for them. They're living in a little cave just up here. So I'll um, put it near the cave and see the cave where they're at. Just in there. Having a little bit of a feed. Okay, so now the cats have been fed, tourists have gone, and I have probably an hour or so, maybe more, until the sun goes down and for me to set up any kind of shot. So it's a little bit uh, precarious because of the snow melt and the freezing and has made the edge where I would normally set the tripod up a little bit slippery. So I'm going to try and get up this bit of a, a mound without trying to break without breaking my neck. So <laughs> made it. Okay. As you can see here This is what I couldn't see this morning. The snow has melted off that. That would have been a bit dangerous to fall down through this crack. But now I can jump over from one boulder to the other. And that is one of the best sunset locations for Madeira. So that's the Rusanu Monastery just down there, the convent. And the sun should be setting beyond those mountains there. Hopefully in about an hour's time, through the gap in the rocks just in front of us. So I'll set the tripod up. Get a composition set and I might even fly the drone as well. So back with you in a minute. waiting for about half an hour so there's about 20 minutes left probably uh, before the sun does dip behind those clouds and over the further peaks that you can see in the distance there. Um, I've set up my composition here which is just a straight shot of the valley with the Rusanu monastery which you can see just down there and the, cl and the rocks here with the sunset behind. So uh, it should make a nice composition quite an epic looking shot. Uh, my exposure is ISO 160 at f8, 30th of a second, which I'm bracketing uh, to make uh, allowance for the fact that the valley here is quite dark and the horizon is quite bright. Um, using a two second timer to take the picture. I've also got on the front of the camera a three stop soft grad filter to darken down the clouds in the distance there 
as well as a polarizing filter to try and bring out some of the details in those clouds because the light is a little bit flat. So hopefully that will do the trick and give me a nice shot. Um, just the question of waiting now for the sun to reach its lowest point and hopefully give me a few beams of light coming through the clouds there as it sets. In the meantime, I shall bid you goodbye. Hopefully you'll be seeing these pictures in just a second, but my batteries on this little camera here is uh, about to run out, so I'd better say goodbye right now, uh, whilst I ca still can. Uh, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Uh, I hope you do like this video. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications. There's lots more coming up very soon. From here tomorrow, I am driving up northwest of here, to a mountain range called the Pindos Mountains, to a group of villages called the Zagorohoria, and they are truly, truly stunning vill villages, and the landscape around them is quite magnificent, so it should hopefully produce some nice images from there as well. So I hope you join me for that in the next video. Thanks for watching again, and I'll see you next time. Cheers, bye.